What's going on everyone? This is the Anime Man. So about a week ago, I got the honor to get an invitation to go on a sponsored trip from Jetro, who are a Japanese governmental organization. They work for the Japanese government to promote tourism to all sorts of different places in Japan by using things like anime and games and basically any way for the Western people to get excited about places that aren't Tokyo and Kyoto. And so they decided to take me and a handful of other people to this place called Kurashiki in the Okayama Prefecture. A lot of places in Kurashiki and the culture and history of Kurashiki were used in Kamiyama Kenji's new film, Napping Princess. Kamiyama Kenji, for those of you who don't know, is a longtime anime director who worked on such series as Ghost in the Shell and Eden of the East, among many others. And being a big fan of Kamiyama Kenji, I was pretty excited that I had the chance to go to where one of his movies was set in. And so to help promote the Napping Princess movie, here is anime in real life of Napping Princess. Enjoy my absolutely professional vlogging skills that are not professional at all. Let's go! Yeah. Good morning. Fuck, it's early. It is 5.30 in the morning right now and I just woke up. I gotta start heading to the station because we are on our way to Okayama or Kurashiki. Yeah, I think it's gonna take like three and a half hours to get there, so it's pretty far away. I don't think I've been on a, a bullet train for that long. You bet I'm gonna sleep on there because <laughs> I'm tired as hell. But I'm pretty excited uh, for this trip. I think it's gonna be quite relaxing, quite fun. I haven't been on a I haven't been on a trip in a while, and I've never been to Kurashiki before, so it's gonna be pretty fun. So I'm gonna try and vlog as much of it as I can and show you the whole thing. All right. Let's go. Uh. made it to lunch place, I think. I think we're in Kurashiki now. This is where we're gonna be eating. How do you pronounce that? Kappe Komoto. I think. Traditional Japanese restaurant, so let's check it out. So we just finished lunch. It's really good. I'm really, really full after that. There's a university here in Kurashiki that teaches uh, animation and art. So we're gonna go there and apparently we're gonna try and uh, make our own animation. That's gonna be interesting. Just got a bag full of goodies from Kurashiki. There's a bunch of napping princess merch. That's pretty cool. It's Joey with Joy. How are you? So, <laughs> so if he's just gonna carry around Joy now, I guess for the rest of the time that we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> yeah. I want him. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous view, dude. Like, people at the school get a fantastic view of the sunset of the entirety of Kurashiki from here. Looks awesome. Jealous. So we're here at Kurashiki University of Science and the Arts. Pretty, pretty big university. Basically, we've given a, a task to do an animation, as you can see right here. We have to draw three frames of walking character, and it has to be an original one. And, you know, it's quite easy for me because I already have an original character, so 
I'm gonna do a chibi version of the anime man. This is gonna be horrible because I haven't drawn properly since high school, so let's go. So this is my little guy. I made him walk. Took me quite a while, but I think I did all right. Finished up the animation thing, that was really fun. Um, I did all right. Can't draw to save my life, but it worked out fine, I think. So now we're about to go on a cruise, from what we heard. I thought we were going to the hotel, but apparently not. We're gonna go on a cruise, like on a boat, for like an hour and a half, I think, to see the sunset in, uh, in, in uh, Kurski. That's the, I almost forgot the name of the place. That should be really aesthetic. So look forward to that. We're about to go on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> We're so tired. I look as, I look as haggard <laughs> as I feel. Honestly, this is gonna be nice. Like, I always like cruises because, you know, it's just a nice view and everything. The problem is, we're all so tired because we all got up at like six in the morning. So we, we, we're screwed. We're all, we're all gonna fall asleep by the end of this. So if there ends up not being much footage after this, uh, just assume I fell asleep. All right. <laughs> Fell asleep on the boat, but now we're at dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I am in my hotel room. I drank so much sake at that restaurant because it was so good. We drank some. Uh, we, we drank some. <laughs> fuck, I'm drunk. We drank some sake that was from Kuraski, like from this area of Okayama, and it was really nice. Like I wanted to do like a little sake review um, while I was at that restaurant for dinner, but um. I just, I just drank too much. I'm full, I'm drunk, I'm fucking tired because I've been up since like five in the morning. Great first day though, Okayama is, is really lovely. So tomorrow we're going to be going around to some of the uh, anime locations. Hopefully I can find some uh, comparison shots for you guys, uh, like with all the anime in real life episodes that I've done. I, I just love going on these trips so I can show you guys, you know, some of these just these beautiful places in Japan uh, that you may otherwise have never even known or heard of or, you know, ever go to. So, you know, hopefully these videos can, can, can give light to some of the more rural but, you know, uh, equally beautiful places in Japan. What time is it? 9.42. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, but I'm out like a light. We have to meet up at 9 o'clock tomorrow downstairs at the lobby, so... I am going to go to bed. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It is day two. I got plenty of rest and I'm not drunk anymore. So that's good. Jesus Christ, is my coffee filled up to the brim enough? Oh, I guess I, 
I guess I needed to change that. But yeah, it's a lovely day. Um, let me just show you the, the view from here. There's Seto Ohashi, the massive uh, bridge that we went across yesterday. That's huge. I've done a few anime real life episodes and um, a lot of them have varied. But, you know, just a, a regular, I guess, seaside town like this. Uh, is is a is a new experience, you know, and I'm I'm quite excited to go explore uh, more of Kurashiki City today. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some nice shots today. Let's go. Huh. So we are here now at Washuzan Hill, Shimotsui. So this is a nice little lookout point uh, at the top of this mountain, uh, where we can see, hopefully, some places in the anime. First. Gotta go up these stairs. Damn it. God, look at the size of that bridge. I don't know if you guys can make out the actual size of it, but it's going all the way out there. It's a really, really long bridge. I've never seen a bridge this long. Let's see if we can see anything in here. There you go. Now you guys don't have to pay 100 yen to look through these. Probably the weirdest footage of a bridge you've ever seen. But I managed to get it. Must say, absolutely lovely weather up here. But, fuck it's cold. <laughs> it's the start of March. So you think it would start to warm up a little bit and with the sun out like this, might warm up a bit. No, I have to remember you're on top of a mountain so the wind is pretty chilly. I don't know, are they gonna fight? There's also there's also one up here, I'm seeing. Look at that. <laughs> Very cute. It matches with the atmosphere. Look at this white one. So cute. I like the one on the roof up there. Hello? Hello? Very cute nature. Dude, look at all the dogs. Where are you going? No. Guys! Come back! Please. Guys, they're all leaving us! No. Guys! Watch no. out! Where are you guys going? <laughs> guys! Oh guys! Yes. Come back! Don't look back at me like that! Oh, Guys! Sad. Look at that, that's a main, that's a main coon. But it, it looks pretty dirty, I feel that it is wild. That's a gorgeous cat though. Look at that, it's like a lion.
あ美味しそう温めるちょっとね温めてちょっと時間経っちゃってるから硬いかも、うん、ちょっとね硬かってるすぐの方が柔らかいうん、うん、あでも美味しいっすね味がねうん it's a bit chewy but really good I feel this would be really good with like like a cold beer like in the summer be lit I got some of the dried octopus and some、uh, yakiyanago because it was too good to pass up. I got some of that. So, probably gonna eat it when I get home. It's gonna be good. <laughs> The one thing I love about these kinds of traditional places and these traditional places that,、uh, you know, influenced different anime series is that we get to, yeah, of course, you know, see the different parts. Whoop, that's a bit low. You know, it's cool that we get to see the different parts of, you know, the, all the scenes of the anime and stuff like that, but it's also just interesting to learn the history of the place, like before, you know, what was this town like before it got turned into an anime? So, you know, I'm really happy that I get to, I guess, show you that kind of stuff as I take you around to all of the, the anime places. But I have to watch my head because this is an old place. Ugh. There we go. There's a sunroof up there. Look at that. That's ominous. Now we are at the factory where they make school uniforms、uh, for high school, middle school kids. It's a factory. Whoa, look at that. There's people in there making uniforms. The Akashi School Uniform Company. Hell yeah, let's watch some anime, everybody. So these are the uniforms or the clothes that Kokone chan was wearing in the movie. So that's obviously the. That's obviously the school uniform that she was wearing. And this is the, her pajamas, I believe. I think these were her pajamas. And then this was the apron that she was wearing at the beginning of the movie when she was making breakfast. And there's her bag right there with the octopus on it. That's really cute. That's so cute. I want that. Can't get over the One Piece characters in school uniforms. Yeah, t h i s on it. So it actually、weird. looks really cute. I like Chopper. Oh, yeah, Chopper's on it. Dude, why, why, why just look at these characters when you can get their business cards? I got their business card, hell yeah. Look at all these school uniforms. It's fancy. Look at the skirt. It's super fancy. I love it. Because, like, we have basic school uniforms back home, but, like, They don't put as much effort into the design of them. They、yeah. keep them very basic, very clean, like no bright colors. Just, yeah, yeah. Whereas here they like, try and have the best looking uniform. Yeah, exactly.、Right? Yeah. I'm trying to find like, the uniform from my school, or at least the closest that we had, because we had blazers. Yeah, we did too.、Uh, where could it be? This one is probably the closest to what I had in my school. So it's like the long pants. I had the blazers, but the only difference is that the inside necktie here was like a red and black stripe. But that's, that's basically what I looked like in high school. Yo, my boy's neck is thick. <laughs> the OG school uniforms. <laughs> this stuff. I always thought these looked really cool when you finished your final exam. <laughs> that's a lot of uniforms. <laughs> Damn. So apparently, all of these uniforms are actually used in Japanese schools like all over the country. So, every uniform you see here, there are real high school boys and girls who wear them on a daily basis. That's really cool. Each uniform kind of has its own subtleties that make them all unique. I have become A high school boy. What is this? I think these look so cool though. 
I've always loved wearing these. Oh, well, I mean, I've, I've always wanted to wear these, so I'm, I'm glad I got to wear it now. Yay! So that was really cool, and we got a, a bag full of awesome stuff. One thing I thought was really cool that I got that I said I, I, said I wanted before was the octopus thing on the bag. So now I got my own octopus thing. I wanted that before, so now I can put on my own bag. We are at dinner now. Apparently there is a uh, an octopus show happening pretty soon, so I'm probably gonna try and get that footage. That's gonna be interesting. So that was really cool, and now we have the fresh octopus right there. This thing got, like, died like five minutes ago, so I'm gonna have it fresh. That's fresh as fuck. It's not chewy at all. It's actually quite, goes down pretty easily. Hmm. Well, that's the end of the trip. I am on the Shinkansen now, the bullet train back to Tokyo. It was a really quick three days, but I feel like we managed to get quite a bit out of it. I got to see a lot of pretty cool things. Um, and yeah, it was just, I don't know, just learning about the history of Kurashiki as well as, you know, everything that made it, you know, what it is in Napping Princess was just, I really enjoyed it. Looks like we're about to head off, so that'll be the end of this video. Go check out the movie if you haven't yet, because it's pretty good. I recommend it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for Radio Vanda, and keep watching anime. Johnny!